How did a book with sexually explicit images and themes wind up in a Keller ISD library? It's what your kids can read in school libraries has become a statewide controversy. It's something so serious for parents. They were outraged. They say the books are just inappropriate and disgusting, especially for children. They're asking the Osceola School District to just get rid of them. These are books and images. Some of them are like in a cartoon form, by the way, so it's even more attractive to kids. Please stop the sexual grooming of our children by these types of uh, books and illustrations. What you are supposed to do is to protect children, not expose them to pornographic material, disgusting, vulgar material. And so I ask you what to do is to do your job and not to sexualize and indoctrinate children. Page 266. He reached his hand down and pulled out my dick. He quickly went to giving me head. I just sat back and enjoyed it as I could tell he was too. I did my best to act dominant like my favorite porn star. His body felt great in my mouth. And it is encouraging them to go on the dating site Grinder. You guys, what I mean, the world that you live in, you know what Grinder is. It is not just a place where you go and meet other people. It is a gay sex app. And you are encouraging children to go onto that app and engage in these sexual activities. You're opening them up to sexual predators and you're opening them up to grooming. And so what she says it's disturbing that these types of books are at the fingertips of students questioning board members. Do you guys think this is appropriate for kids in school? The books were called pornographic and parents blame board members for keeping them on the shelf. It's just not appropriate. No. It's pedophilia and it's against the law. Board, how much responsibility does the librarian have in this? Well, that's what I don't know the answer to, okay? And I would like to get those answers.